one young man, he said, you're the Lyft driver that I needed today. Thank you, man. I really needed you. And that's kind of the thing that I'll, that'll be difficult to not do as I kind of become more fearful of doing it just because of the close contact of people in the car. My name is Todd Holtzberry, and I've been driving for Uber and Lyft for about the last six months or so now. I haven't driven for a couple days because I started feeling some anxiety about it, to be honest. I was a caregiver for my parents. I helped them through the last couple years of their lives, and caregiving gave a lot of isolation. Finally, I decided I need to get back out into the world. I kind of saw Uber and Lyft as a way to kind of do that on my own time. In terms of what's going on now with the coronavirus and driving for Uber and Lyft, right now I'm kind of focused on keeping the car clean, uh, wiping it down with you know, bleach wipes type of thing have to be a little bit more cautious. Um, some people like to ride in the front seat, and so I would have to discourage people from doing that. But, you know, I couldn't have a car ride with somebody basically at a certain point without talking about the coronavirus. I had probably more people having me take them up to Philadelphia from Wilmington, Delaware, and I also had a couple people having me take them down to Baltimore, uh, and their thoughts were they thought it would be better than being on the train. I've taken a few days off, and I'm probably gonna get back out tonight, but I think I'm just going to do Uber Eats to keep distance and not be in a confined space with other people. Even that is a little bit scary in the sense of there's a lot of restaurants that may not be able to weather this storm and the takeout won't be enough to sustain them and their staff. So, you know, my next concern is how long will Uber Eats be a thing that can help pay my bills? I don't know. I don't know, but I have to do something and I have to remain hopeful and you know, we got to try. I think the people that are doing it for a couple extra bucks in their pocket are probably going to stop. The people that are doing it to pay bills don't have any choice. But I got to overcome the anxiety and I got to push on. I mean, you know, you don't have a choice and you know, we can all shut down or we can try and overcome. And that's what I'm trying to do.